Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, the Videopreneur, and in this video, uh, check it out. We've uh, a friend of mine, Jimmy McNeely, bought one of these Eastwood grinders, and so in this part of the video, I sped it up five times, but I'm unboxing it, and I'm going to put it together. I didn't read any instructions. That's how easy this thing is to work with, and uh, I'm going to literally put it together and start grinding on the bottom of the cab. So I... Previously, I took a uh, heat gun and a putty knife and was scraping off the undercoating and there was, you know, road grime. This truck's 60 years old and it had all kinds of crap on the bottom of the, the cab. And so I took a heat gun and a putty knife and I was scraping it and it was taking some time. It was coming off nicely and it wasn't that difficult, but it, it was a slow process. This beast from Eastwood is amazing and I'll have a still photo here in a little bit when I uh, get done grinding it just to show you the packaging so you know what it is but this thing is amazing and you can see how easy it is to put together and like I said I didn't read any instructions I have dyslexia so I generally don't read instructions I just look at stuff and and generally I can put it together pretty easily uh, ask me to spell a word correctly and you're gonna get the same word spelt three different times in a, in a single paragraph, so uh, I can't spell to save my life. But uh, so anyway, putting this thing together, and then I'm going to start grinding on the bottom of it, this cab, and it's amazing. You turn this thing on. I didn't crank it all the way up. The box has the speed. I think it's like 1,000 RPM up to 2,600 RPM, and I didn't have it turned all the way up. I probably had it at three quarters. But holy smokes, you turn this thing on, and and uh, so I slowed it down here so you can see it, and you turn this thing on, and it just, whatever's in the way, it will just blow, blow it away. Another thing, another reason I'm glad I scraped the bottom is all that undercoating was like tar, and it would have gunked up this uh, pad or brush or whatever the heck you would call it. It would have filled it full of crap, and it would have ruined it pretty quickly. So at least this way, I've got all the, the big stuff out of the way, and so I'm grinding on this. And uh, so it, that, that uh, brush or pad is usable. It still can be used again. So amazing piece of equipment. If you don't have one and you're going to plan on doing a lot of grinding, and, and if you've been using a wire wheel or something like that and you want something that will work a lot faster and do a lot cleaner job this thing is it you can see right here uh, I'm grinding it takes it down to bare metal and like nothing it's uh, it's pretty cool so got the bottom of the cab done and then not in this video we're gonna prime it and then we're gonna undercoat it and get it ready uh, put it back in black and uh, then put the cab back over and then uh, we haven't mounted it yet so I'm behind on my video so I'm trying to catch up and uh, so I'll be posting a lot more videos but you can see all that rust and just plowing through that and you can see uh, it just shoots it out the bottom the thing is so easy to, to uh, use and it works as you can see so here's the uh, packaging and you can see it's got the uh, RPMs on it and uh, if you need a grinder, man, this is one to consider. So this video is, shows the bottom of the truck and shows you what the condition is after I was done. The black part, that's new metal. And you can see what we had to replace. And then uh, the balance is the old stuff. And that's what I uh, grind, ground down with the Eastwood. So amazing job. And now I'm just doing a little bit of a rev review the cab is on its back, and we've got it pretty well stripped down of everything. We've got the new welds in, and uh, got a little bit more welding to do. A few other odds and ends. You can see Lynn just brought out the power washer, so he's going to power wash it here in a moment and clean it all up. And it's so damn dirty and dusty and breathing in all that crap. You cough it up and blow it out your nose for a week. I'll be glad when the, when this part of the process is done. But 
So here I sped this up. I'm going to slow it down in a second, but I sped this up. So Lynn's just power washing it. We're not using any soap, just straight water. Um, this is in March. So in real life or in real time, we're in April now. So just getting caught up on my videos. This was a nice day, pretty uh, warm for March. And just blasting all the dirt and dust and grime and, and uh, mainly the dust off of this thing. Getting it ready to... Then we got to let it sit and dry and then prime it. And then after we prime it, then we'll go ahead and uh, put the uh, undercoating on the bottom. So it's coming together nicely. And as you can see, the top is silver. So I ground that down. I use a bristle disc on that, ground that down to bare metal. That's the firewall and the, the bottom side. Of All this just to get mountain this out? Ridiculous. So, as Lynn said, just uh, a lot of work to power wash and get all the rat uh, and mouse uh, poop and piss out of there. So, just uh, again, this is sped up. You can see the top of the cab and uh, the um, rain gutter, our drip rail, is got some leaks in it. So we go through and we clean that up. And when you see that, it's amazing what Lynn got some self-leveling stuff. So I'm kind of telling what we've done in the future. But the uh, truck is coming together real nice now, and we're making a lot of progress. So we're, we're uh, kind of back on track. We missed our deadline. It's already past Easter in real time. Um, so we got over that pretty quickly, and now we're just uh, we're going to have a hell of a nice truck when we're done. And I've had several people comment about the way we're doing things, and there's faster ways to do it. And I appreciate that, open to any suggestions. If I do another one or if Lynn ever does another one, that will come in handy. But we're doing it the way that we thought we should do it and uh, the way Lynn's done it in the past. So uh, it's working out great for us. And as you can see, we're, we're uh, back in track and making a lot of progress. So I'll be glad when we get this thing done. And I don't think anybody will be happier than me than, than uh, actually Lynn will because getting it out of the shop and so he can have his weeknights and his weekends back. And I'm sure his wife would be happy too. Uh, so he could be, uh, have that, have my truck and me out. Believe it or not, he's probably getting tired of me. I know that's crazy talk. Uh, as good looking as I am and, and uh, my bubbly personality, but he's probably getting tired of it. 